Brian, you talked a little bit about your, your diet and how you changed it up, obviously. When about did you really get serious about your diet and kind of doing that kind of thing? What, what time frame was it? I'm still doing it now, dude. Oh, you're still there. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm proud of myself, though. Because the, the thing is, I was raised off of uh, just Mexican food, which is very carby, a lot of carbs. And then... Uh, I mean, my mom over there in the back would tell you, like, all she did was make beans, rice, soups, and uh, and tacos with more tortillas. Like, it's just, my whole life it, it has been like that, you know? And I actually tell my son that. I'm like, hey, man, you got to learn how to eat right because when you get older, it's going to affect you. And it, it did, you know? I, I went from eating nothing but carb foods which is in our culture and eventually you move up and you start getting older and it becomes jack in the box and McDonald's and this and that and that's all I ever ate my fuel my entire life has been junk food and or Mexican food so to to be an athlete and everyone's telling you what you're doing is wrong but I'm winning I was like nah fuck you guys you guys are wrong like it's Mexican power bitch like Watch me eat a fucking torta and go fuck someone up, and uh, and I and I used to, so. But it wasn't until I got my ass beat, and it was like, yo, you're fucking getting older now, bro. Like you gotta make this weight. It ain't easy when you were young anymore. And uh, truth is, I've been fighting in the featherweight division since I was 15 years old. I'm 31 now, so. Some changes have to happen, and, and they've been happening, and and mostly. I'm really great when it comes to being disciplined when I'm in training camp, down to every ounce. But the second the fight's over, you know, start calling my name, fucking tacos and everything. It's like, fuck. I love you, but on a cheat day, motherfucker, don't talk to me. <laughs> Are there anything? Is there anything you're looking forward to eating in the city? Obviously, we're you know, New York City. I'm gonna well, fuck everything up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I get my little bit after the fight, you know. After the fight, I'll for sure some pizza, street dogs, uh, um, go to some great restaurants. Hopefully someone on Instagram just sends me um, recommendations on where to go and, and places to eat. Uh, I got my family here with me, so we're just going to explore the city, have some fun, eat a bunch of good food, and, and just have a great time.